Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. Oh! Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in! Hey there! <gasps> What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z oh, I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time! I'm saved! Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya! Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... Did you... Are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firenay. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? I, I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firenay. Huh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it. Right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news! She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her! Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah, a burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm... He's too far. I really can't say. 
You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have a killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage. Smart thinking, Yunaka. Pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. Surprise. Good idea. Please take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This will net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her. That's the voice from before. That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo. That's why we're here. Right. Well, thank you. You know, now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop. You're gonna make me blush. Ugh! <laughs> 
<laughs> so where did you come from? I'll do my best. You're shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I... She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Makaya? Yeah, okay. I won't let you down. I live to serve. I'm ready. Anything. Let me at it. My will is firm. <laughs> Point the way again. As your steward. Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot. You got it. Like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. of places.
Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. Quick change! With my magic, you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Lend me your strength. I live to fight again. My muscles say thanks. Yeah. Ah! Looks like I broke them. Let me help. <laughs> Sort of like that, maybe? <laughs> All flowers eventually wilt. For the Divine Dragon. My muscles are yours! Not afford to lose. Up my weights. You 
need pruning. Thank you. We'll get through this. Yanaka here! Our foes are strong. I live to fight again. I've had my eye on you. You were beautiful while you lasted. I've got this. Please grant me your strength. Oh! 
Don't break too easily. Ah! Pretty weak. Saving the day, we killed off the villagers ages ago. My weight. Sorry.
I win this one. the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh, confession. The thing is, I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... Wied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombrom's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about... joining our forces? Say... what now? We're on a journey to collect the Emblem Rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but... 
Will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say. Hiya, Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Hiya, Papaya! Back at ya, Divine One! With that settled, let's hurry onward. You've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Indeed. So. Uh-huh. Spectacular as ever. Wow! Yes. Ah. 